Hey everyone, welcome back to Loading Marriage. We're uh, on Star Wars Battlefront 2 once again. We're going to basically keep just playing this game until we finish it. So. Yeah, since, you know. Yeah, that's what we do. Well, it's not really what well, we do. You no. never finish your game. Oh. Yeah, because my aim is you trying to teach me something. Oh, yeah. And it's, which it's you horrible. have found to be a painful experience. Yeah. It, as well, I knew it would be. Well, like I said, we do need to eventually go back to it. Sure. But until then, we need to regroup with some people here. Sure. So, this is our chance. going off this idea of you trying to teach me how to play video games. Uh-huh. If someone were to come to you... And want to be like, like have you as like their mentor. Okay. So essentially, they're your apprentice. Okay. If you will. What, what would you teach them? What would I teach them? Yeah, like they want to know, like what all about what you do and how you do it, and you're supposed to teach them something. What would you teach them? Like professionally or just about anything in my anything. life? Anything. Anything at all. They just, they want to oh, be, be they want to be the next gene. Alright. What would you teach them I, I, about I'll, being you? Well, I'd teach them how to make macaroni and cheese for them. Well, assuming that they don't already know, and if they don't already know, I'm really questioning them. Okay, no, the thing is, you can, you can know how to make macaroni and cheese, and then you can know how to make macaroni and cheese. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. I, I, I have had some people's macaroni and cheese that's just kind of gross. They essentially take macaroni and just like, it's like they might as well just melt craft singles on top of it and call it a dish. That's that's what? horrible. Are we talking about boxed macaroni and cheese or are we talking about like homemade mac and cheese? Well, there's still there's still an art to box mac and cheese. Sometimes, it, sometimes I, you know, you can throw some meatballs in there. Well, I'm okay. Sauce, if you're, if you're, it's, it's if you're talking about going beyond the basic box direction. Of course I'm... Th well, um, you did not specify that. You said teach them how to make mac you and know, cheese. It's on the box. I wouldn't think I would have to say that to you. I think that you would know well, that I go above and beyond when it comes to my macaroni and cheese. I, I, that's why, that's why, I mean, I, I yeah, I, I love mac and cheese a lot and so much so that my mother actually bought me a case of it for my, uh, for, for, Christmas. for Christmas. Yeah, she really did. So, that's awesome. We have a lot of mac and cheese in the house right now. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm, I'm quite alright with, actually. Yeah, it's fine. It keeps me so. from having to worry about picking it up at the store. Yeah. So, thanks, Mom. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. What, so, what other... Uh, well, what, what, what else would you teach them other than... Well, wait, 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 I mean, that's... Okay. Um, I, I would teach them that. I would teach them how to do things on their car. Like, you know, again, not like swap out the engine, but you know, how to change oil, change brake pads. All useful, right. useful everyday things like that. Useful skills. All right. Mother, we have a problem. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Really, a loading screen. Wow. All right, so ladies, while this loads, what are you teaching your, your, um, your apprentice? Well, I think that the one thing that I would teach them is the art of sarcasm. The art of sarcasm. Because it is my second language. Uh, I don't think you're good at sarcasm. Um, I live with sarcasm. My, my life is sarcasm. I don't know what you're talking about. That is, like, how I communicate. But I, I, I don't think that you can just say, oh, I'm teaching the art of sarcasm. Why, it's can't, like, why can't I teach them the art of sarcasm? That is, that is an integral, an integral, integral part of who I am. Is my sarcastic nature. Got one. Okay. So I would have to teach my apprentice the art of sarcasm. The unfortunate thing is that if you don't already possess the ability to grasp the concept of sarcasm, you can't teach a person that. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I mean, can, can you really... So long. Like, that, that to me seems just kind of an inherent thing. Like, you either get it or you don't. Yeah, but see, I think some people have the potential for sarcasm. They've just never been in an environment where it's of the primary communication source. 
or communication style, I should say. Eh, okay. So, yeah. I, I, I still think that's kind of uh, kind of bogus. Well, part. you can think it's bogus all you like. I can teach my apprentice whatever I want. And that's got to be part of the training process. Okay, so what what else you teach them? I had to come up with two on the spot. Where's your second one? My second one would be uh, to teach them how to hang wallpaper. How to what? Hang wallpaper. How to hang wallpaper? Yeah, because as much as I don't like wallpaper, I'm really proud of my awesome ability to hang wallpaper very well. It's it's one of the well, I mean. I did painting and decorating in high school, went to a vocational high school, and I had to learn how to do wallpaper, and one of my proudest moments was wallpapering. We had like mock rooms in our shop classroom, and uh, one of my proudest moments was hanging this really intricately patterned wallpaper and learning how to fix mistakes and match the pattern and it came out awesome and I, I, I just, I enjoy doing it. I, okay, I, it's just one of those things, so I have known you now for... 15 years. 15 years. For 15 years we have been dating, we have been married for seven. Yeah. In that amount of time, not once, have I known you to hang wallpaper? I have hung wallpaper in that amount of time. When? Um, when I worked at my sister's office over one summer break from college, one of her co-workers wanted to hang a wallpaper border in her son's bedroom. Okay. And I did it. Also, when I refinished that white cabinet that's in our kitchen, I wallpapered the back of it. That is like the back of a cabinet. That's not like in so, a room that's where you have to hanging, match up patterns. Hey, I had to match up pattern. It has a floral pattern. That, that's a, that. These are such bogus things you've come You're, up with. What the hell is that bogus? You almost, that is hanging uh, paper. I'm good. Good. Look around you. Almost over. Not yet. Get the Corvus to safety. I'm finishing what we started. I'm gonna get my dad. Iden, he's not worth it. I have to try, Del. Now go. Retreat! I had the chin strap on her helmet that came off that easily. Yeah. That's not, not ideal. Close one. But anyways, that is legit. That is hanging paper. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. I, I just... I still just find it kind of one of those things where you're like, you know... Coming up with something that no that no one does anymore. I mean, listen. Some people do it, and actually, decorative wallpaper is making a comeback. People are buying wallpaper and doing accent walls in decorative wallpaper. Yeah, you know what else is making a comeback? So, Leg warmers. So you know, yeah, that's yeah. It doesn't listen, mean it should. Listen, I'm just saying. All right, I, I still think you gotta come up with some like more like day to day useful how, things here. How right? is that less day to day useful than? Doing stuff on your car. All right. How many times have I changed the oil in our cars in the past year? Probably three or four times at least. Maybe. Yeah. How many times you hung wallpaper in the past five years? Whatever. Okay. So it mine's more useful. Okay. So okay. Th 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 I'm just saying. So what 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 other what other skills you are you teaching somebody? Painting them. We'll add painting. Okay, fine. 
You can't argue Fine. that one because Fine. people. Well, leave... you know what? You know what? Fine. You're the painting and decorating master, and you're just going to teach them all things painting and decorating. Let's get away from that. Something else. I gave two completely different answers. And so did I. Sarcasm and painting and yeah, decorating skills. Yeah, but you skills. admitted that sarcasm you have to kind of have a natural ability towards, and then Hold on. then you came up with wallpaper. I hate you a little bit. Why? <laughs> because you discredit the things that I enjoy. Well, you I didn't discredit anything. You basically did. No, no. Yeah. I'm not saying that it's not a skill. I'm just saying that if it's your apprentice, if I was going to be someone's apprentice and they're like, yeah, we're going to learn wallpaper today, I'd be like, oh, really? Like, wallpaper? Hey. <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing, but... It'd be like if someone told me, like, I'm going to teach you how to make a good tofu. I'd be like, oh, why? Like, why not just, you know, end it all now, because... Stop flying around up there. I would teach them about good communication skills. Of which they are not demonstrated on this particular show. However... No, our communication skills are great. They're just not positive. <laughs> <laughs> See, we are being straightforward and honest. And that is what a healthy marriage is built on. Is, I, I, is I'm not? talking more about less confrontational ways of communicating. But confrontation is not always bad. It's not always bad, but there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Are you saying this is the wrong way to do it? Of course it is. Disagreeing with you is the wrong way to do it? It's how you disagree. Oh, I'm sorry. You just, uh, I think your ideas are just kind of... You think my ideas are stupid. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what? You said it, not me. I'm merely agreeing with you now. Well, it doesn't change the fact that you this think my ideas positive, are so. stupid. So, you know what? You're stupid. Wow, see, you know what? I did not attack you as a person. Uh, my ideas identify who I am as a person. Not always. Uh, listen, let's face it. My life is hanging on by a thread. I don't got a whole lot to go <laughs> off of besides wow. my ideas. Yeah, yeah, besides your ideas and, you know, your daughter, your loving husband. Yeah, all the external things. I don't got a lot else going on. What do I got going on? Mac and cheese? I mean, don't get me wrong. Mac and cheese is awesome. But... Yeah, so you brought up mac and cheese. I didn't completely discredit your idea of mac and cheese. You know what? That was your fault for not immediately jumping on me and saying that is the stupidest thing See, you've said today. See, but that's why I'm better at communicating than you are. Because I wouldn't discredit somebody's love of mac and cheese. If we're going to have a conversation about you being, you having an apprentice who wants to be the next Jew... Well, okay, mac and cheese is something you eat a lot. If you feel the need to teach them about making creative mac and cheese combos, then all right, that's legit. Because I'm a loving, supportive, encouraging person. And I am just in my own way. Uh, uh, I don't know about all that. You are really making our marriage sound terrible to people. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, this this isn't just a show right now. This this is this is real life. <laughs> this this is just what we do. We sit around all day just yelling at each other. <laughs> and what's hilarious? What you believe in is stupid. What you believe in is stupid. <laughs> what's hilarious is that. <sighs> One of the uh, former high school students at a uh, church. I don't know if she actually watches this. I have no idea if she does. I, like, a part of me wants her to, but then a part of me is like, no, let's not ruin the thought. Right? <laughs> like, yeah. You know. But uh, she said that if we, uh, if we wrote a book on marriage, she'd read it. She yeah. said if we wrote a book on anything, she'd read it. I've actually considered doing that. Just my book of random thoughts. You do have some entertaining random thoughts. Oh, they're all the time. It, my, my brain does not shut off. It just... Yeah. It just moves on. 
Yeah, your brain goes some weird places. Which is kind of funny because there's a stereotype that men, like, their minds are just blank. If they're not purposefully thinking about something, then they're just thinking nothing. So, and then the stereotype about women is that there's always 5,000 thoughts rolling around in our heads, which is true. Well, well, I mean, but at the same time, it's also true that men can blank out, too. Like, that's why sometimes there's, like, a lull in the conversation while I'm playing this game, because I'm just kind of like, and it's just static and white noise. Whoa! That guy. Again, I don't understand. Like, I have a gun. I've just killed, like, 30 of your friends, and you're going to come at me with a stick. Well, maybe he, maybe somebody told him that the stick was magic. Magic stick? To make him feel more powerful. That's a terrible person that did that. Uh, well, sure, but I'm going to guess that the uh, generals here don't value their uh, stormtroopers all that much. Did you just phase through the... Considering that their armor clearly is not that great. Well, I mean, they're, they're getting direct hits. It's, it's something. It's better yeah, than well, nothing. Yeah, well, sure, it's right? better than nothing. But protecting the average stormtrooper is clearly not their priority. Yeah, but, you know... Uh, we're climbing uh, wreckage. We're we need to get my father off the ship before it goes down. Why? Because it's still her dad and she still loves him because she knows what it's like to be in a healthy relationship on like two With people so like two people sitting in this room that just can't do it. But <laughs> so Hopefully this isn't the last episode, and hopefully we didn't just end our marriage here, people, you know. Oh, you're not getting okay. rid of me that easily. I know. You said I do. So, <laughs> hey, only until death, so I have something to look forward to. Well, there you go. And. Too bad your family lives forever. Yeah, so. All right, everybody. <laughs> another another high note to leave you on. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> See you next time. Uh, I'm really good at wallpaper.